think you know, but you have no idea. This is true life. I have peripheral arterial disease. This is Alex Barrialli. We're live here tonight on True Life. We are taking a look inside the lives of two women living with peripheral arterial disease. This disease involves the thickening of the arterial walls, most commonly affecting the legs and the pelvis. The main component of PAD is atherosclerosis, which is plaque, building up inside the arteries. Risk factors include tobacco, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, and uncontrolled hypertension. This insidious disease often goes undetected and we will go inside the lives of two young women out of 8 million Americans who are affected with PA Day. This is Melissa Howard, Lifestyle at age 40. Come in! Hey girl, you ready to go? Sure. Want some party mix? Sure. Where are we going? You know, to the bistro. I gotta check my sugar first. Singles oh, night. Oh my goodness, 3.47. Oh my god, you better not pass out on me on the floor, dance floor. Don't worry, I'm gonna have my cigarette right, right now. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You should really do something about that diabetes you got. Well, whatever. My daughter's been stressing me out lately like crazy. Ma, the meatball! Oh my god, do the, the mouth on her. Yeah, but you know, my life's been killing me lately. I think it's uh, from that McDonald's earlier. I I'm hungry! Oh my god. Let's yeah. just go and you should go to the doctor tomorrow. Just get everything checked out. Yeah. Alright. Alright, sounds good. Numbness that's and tingling, that's up in a way. My name is Lauren. I'll be a nurse tonight. Uh, can I just have your name and date of birth? Melissa Howard, November 1st, 1971. Okay, so uh, what brought you into the emergency room tonight? Me and my girls went out dancing and I had really bad lower leg pain and I fell to the floor. Okay, and were you able to get right back up afterwards? No. Okay, and does it feel better now? Yeah, sort of. Okay, on a scale from 1 being the least pain and 10 being the worst pain of your life. What would you read it? Eleven. Oh wow. Okay. So can you just tell me a little bit about your history? Do you smoke? Yes. Okay. How much do you smoke? <laughs> Two bags. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Do you have diabetes? Yes. And are you on insulin? Uh, I take it when I feel like it. Okay. Um. Do you have high blood pressure? Yep, all the time. Do you have high cholesterol? Yeah. Are you on any medication for those two things? Um, the doctor gave me a bunch of pills, but I don't really take them. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do an assessment on your legs and um, assessment on uh, your lower legs. I'm just checking for your pedal pulse, which it feels a little, a little weak. Um, are your legs always cold? Yes. And uh, I see that you have no hair. Um, have you noticed like a loss of hair? Yeah, the hair doesn't grow anymore, so I don't have to shave. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to check the capillary refill. And it seems a little bit longer than three seconds. So we're going to send you for an MRA and uh, do some further blood work. And the doctor will come in and talk to you after that. Okay. Hello, Melissa. My name is Dr. Cruzon today. We got your results. The C-reactive protein, very high. The MRI showed that you tested positive. Oh no. oh no. Oh <laughs> no. Okay, so I see that the doctor had um, diagnosed you with uh, peripheral artery disease. What the hell is that? Okay, well, it's just thickening of the walls in your in your arteries and your legs, and it's due from uh, atherosclerosis, which is plaque, and that's due to a lot of um, your lifestyle that I've noticed, um, such as your cholesterol, your diabetes, your smoking, um, and I think you can change a lot of those things and uh, it'll increase your chances of getting better. Am I going to be okay? <laughs> yes, you, you will be okay if, if you take care of what you need to take care of. And um, the doctor's going to start you on Plavix, 75 milligrams, and you need to really take it every day. And you need to be um, on top of your cholesterol and your insulin. And 
you need to start exercising to have the blood flow to your legs. Exercising. Because you're just walking around, you know, 30 minutes a day and eating healthy because... No more McDonald's? I mean, if you can cut it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if, if it doesn't get better, you, you might have to have a surgery or results in gangrene or an amputation. So I'm going to give you a pamphlet about what to do and what not to do. Okay. If you have any further questions. No. Okay. Here we are live from Melissa Howard's house two months later after being diagnosed with PAD. Let's see her new lifestyle changes. Cloud, yeah. Girl, look at everybody. Girl, look at everybody. Girl, look at everybody. Girl, look at everybody. This is Nicole Formosa, Lifestyle at age 75. What are you doing? Assess the right dead type. We're going in the mall. What? What's the matter? My leg hurts. It's numb and it's tingling and it hurts. And um, did your leg ever turn green? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, Nicole, we gotta get you to the hospital. How do you feel? I'm in a lot of pain. Why, hello, hello. My name is Bertha. I'm gonna be your nurse today. Can I just have your name and date of birth? Nicole from 1136. Okay. All right. Um, well, Nicole, so um, what brought you in today? Uh, my leg's green and it hurts. Oh, your leg is green. It's been like that for about a month. Wow. Okay. I can't and, feel it. And you're coming there now? Yes. Right. I wasn't I wasn't around. I usually take care of her, but I was away. Than a month. Longer than a month? Yeah. Well, I've been away for a month, so oh. I thought it was a month. All right. Um, so you're having pain or tingling or numbness? Yeah. All right. Um, does any one of your family have um, any problems, any history of heart disease or uh, yes. coronary artery disease? Yep. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Um, do you smoke? Yes. You do. And you have, uh, do you have diabetes? Yes. You do? Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe that might be a part of why your leg is um, green, but I'm just going to take a look at it, okay, if that's all right with you? Okay. Oh yeah, it is um, turning colors here. Looks a little dark black green. Oh, that, that looks really serious. It smells. Y yeah, I can smell that. It smells pretty bad. I'm sorry. No, don't not be not be sorry about my dear. Don't worry. So okay, bad. so um, now that I'm looking at this, it looks like you have some tissue necrosis. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna have to have the doctor come in and look at it. Is that Her fault? It. Okay. It's my fault. All right. Don't you worry about it, girls. We'll get taken care of. All right. I'm just gonna go and get the doctor. He's gonna come take a look. All right. Is that okay with you? Just give me a few minutes and I'll be back. Hello, Nicole. My name is Dr. Grisante. Hi, Doc. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Ms. Bell. I just want to let you know we got the results from the Doppler and MRA. If it wasn't so advanced, we'd do an angioplasty and a stent. Mm -hmm. But, I'm sorry to say, but it's a late stage of peripheral arterial disease which led to the gangrene. We're going to have to do a below the knee amputation. I'll give you guys some time to discuss this. Okay, your nurse will be in in a moment. Hi, Nicole. So, how are you feeling? Not well. No, I heard the doctor diagnosed you with peripheral artery disease. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're going to have to do an amputation below the knee. And I know this is going to be difficult for you. Um, are you going to be able to cope with this alone? No. No. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I take care of her, but I have a full-time job. Oh, it's all right. We're going to get you some visiting nurse service, and she'll come to the home. Maybe think I can get her a scooter. Oh, yeah, Scooter. I've seen that commercial on the television. That's a good idea. But this is going to be after, you know, we get her with a prosthesis and everything. But in the meantime, when we do amputate the leg, we're going to have to keep it clean and dry. Um, do you understand? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm just going to give you guys some time here, and um, we'll see you back after the surgery. Okay. All right. Well, you Thank have you. a good day now, my dear. Bye-bye. Come on. You could do it. Oh, must be the oh come on! Come in! Well, hello, is anybody home? <laughs> Help me! Oh, I'm coming, ma'am. I'm coming. Hold up one second here. I'm only a few years younger than her. Oh, 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 I right, need help. Right, 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 right. Okay, I'm going to take this from 
come on to you and we're going to sit you down in the bed. Okay? Here we go. Oh, yep, there we go. Let, let, All right. All right. Yeah, you get it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Anything my. I can do, I'm the visiting nurse. My name is Bertha. Oh, thank oh. God you're here. I'm back. You know, remember me from the hospital? Yes. Yes, yes, okay. Well, how are you doing today? My leg hurts. I feel and like it's still there. Oh, you have been phantom pain, I hear. That's what that is. Yeah, phantom pain. You feel like your leg is still there, but it really ain't. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, let's take a look here. <laughs> Oh, so we have a compression compression bandage on here. So um, when we're bathing and we're doing physical therapy, we're going to take this compression bandage off. Okay, um, so we're going to do some, uh, uh, not today, but another time, we're going to do some exercises, some range of motion, okay? And then um, also... Um, when we're going to fit you for a prosthesis, mm -hmm. so, you know, you'll have a better time getting around, you know, like to the mall with your sister and everything. We want you to lay on your stomach for about uh, 30 minutes for the hip extension, three times a day. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Your sister and I will help you do that. Okay. All right. Well, um, Nicole, it, um, just remember to do all these things, and I'll be back here next week. We'll, we'll do some range of motion, okay? Okay. All right. Thank well, you, you have a nice day. Thank now. you. All right. You're welcome. This is Alex Riley. We're back again two months later. Let's see Nicole Formosa, her new lifestyle changes. Come on down, girl. Show them what you got. She got her Skoda. And this is the end. I'm Alex Riley on True Life. Ah! I'm and back. we're out of here. Until next I'm time. Back. I'm back. Get up off of that thing. And dance to you. You better. Get up off of that thing. And dance to you. Sing it now. Get up off of that thing. Alex Ariella here. <laughs> that was good. Hi, I'll be a nurse tonight, Warren. Um, wait, that's my name. <laughs> Hello, Melissa. My name is Dr. Croissant. <laughs> this is Alex Ariely. We're back again two months later. Let's see Nicole from Osses. Let's get a see. <laughs> so, 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 do you have any numbness and tingling? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some numbness or tingling? <laughs> Hello, Nicole. Uh. Come on. Since it's this far in advance, I'm tired to say. <laughs> leg hurts. They want me to just pick you up. I still have a leg. They didn't take it off. Come on. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do this. Why, well, hello. How are we doing here today? My name is going to be... <laughs> Lifestyle choices, such as holy thins. Now, we see Nicole Formosa two months later and her changes. <laughs> that was terrible. You're talking. <laughs> took my medication. You can't talk about shoulda, woulda, coulda. <laughs> I shoulda, I shoulda, I shoulda. <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> Turn it for me. <laughs>